Okay, Pisces, you can see what we're dealing with here already. <laughs> um, I'm going to come out straight out with it. I think this might be a twin flame reading. Possibly false flame energy coming in there as well, but I don't think it's the same thing. I think it's a third party karmic energy. Um, a lot of fear, a lot of devil energy. Uh, it's funny as well, I was watching a reading this morning as I was kind of painting my nails. I've got black nails, you'll find out why. Um, and um, the reader was about to pull a card and I just knew it was going to be the devil card. I actually said it, I was like, the devil card. And she pulled it and it was the devil. But it was the devil in reverse, okay? That's important. Uh, this is fear, this is fear. Um, uh we've just had um saturn and uh, you've got to be all sick of hearing this from me by now but we've just had saturn and jupiter p pass from capricorn which is um all about the chains right uh, it's like double uh, double de devil energy sorry capricorns um but it's like um, the rules the regulations the things that bind us uh, the chains that keep us stuck and held in place while we learn tough lessons these planets have just moved into um, Aquarius, which is about expansion, luck, fortune coming in, uh, doing things differently, breaking the chains. They're giving me Game of Thrones, um, Mother of Dragons, Breaker of Train, uh, Chains. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's it. Are you strapping? Come along for the ride because this is going to be a roller coaster. Um, like literally my heart is pounding. It's, a, it feels like adrenaline because it's adrenaline because it's like passion, but also fear and anxiety. And it's like, everybody's on this threshold about to move into something new. And it's like never been done before that they're giving me one small step for man, one giant leap for, for mankind. Um, it's like, you know, it's been done before, you know, it's, other people have done it, but maybe you've not done it. It's something completely new for you. And it's, it's big and it's scary and you've got that flight or fight response go for go for fight fight for your dreams fight for what you want uh don't run back to the anything that's not working for you um now is the time to break those chains um i mean not immediately like not maybe right now but you know this the energy of now that that these planets have shifted this is the opportunity to rewrite the stars i'll come back to that as well uh right okay starting from the beginning I got Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey and Somewhere Only We Know by uh, Lily Allen yesterday. I'm getting old and I need someone to rely on, right? Like this penguin is leaning on this other penguin. Let me just bring this card closer. I don't want you to see what's underneath just yet, or do I? Um, this was bottom of the deck. I, I tipped the deck out and this was the bottom of the deck. And then, uh, no, I'm going to show you what was underneath. Look, someone's got the key to somebody's heart there. Uh, look, literally, like that penguin's got a lock on their heart and this one's got the key. Underneath, we've got unbelievable loyal heart i had to show you i had to show you what we're dealing with today thinker yeah somebody's really processing right thinking about it 44 though there wanting that stability wanting a long-term stable connection wanting someone they can rely on i'm getting older now i need someone to rely on um will you still love me when i'm no longer young and beautiful i know you will um i was getting something about um audio production or broadcasting or DJing, something to do with audio and um, like broadcasting. So it could be like podcasts or uh, somebody who creates music, um, music production. They were giving me uh, Timberland, the rapper, uh, he's a music producer. Um, um, it's a song that's been coming through a few times, but I've forgotten it now. I didn't write it down because I'm an absolute dumbass. Um, if you see us in the club, we'll be acting real nice. If you see us on the floor, um, <laughs> we ain't here to hurt nobody. We ain't here to hurt nobody. Interesting. Uh, then I was getting um, uh, Hostage by Billie Eilish. Um, I want to be alone. Alone with you, is that okay? Um, and then I Only Want You by, I think it's Dua Lipa, uh, the acoust acoustic version as well. So I don't know, maybe somebody does acoustic song production. I don't know. Um, I, on um, I don't want nobody like you. I only want you. I only want you. Uh, sorry for my terrible singing. Definitely not on the level uh, of Dua Lipa. Um, right, now it gets, now are you ready for the plunge? Are you ready for that roller coaster? Are you ready for the devil energy? Bringing that fear in. I got um, 
first I got Diamond Heart by Alan Walker. Um, if I had a Diamond Heart, um, I'd, what is it? Ben, um, no, right. I need to start with the way this is coming through. So this song is, if I had a Diamond Heart, I'd, um, I, I hear it as run, to, run straight through the fire, but it's like, um, it's like bend like a tulip, something through the bullet. Um, I don't know, but it's it's my, one of my Libra songs because Libra is the sign for me that has the diamond heart. It's like um, every time it faces faces adversity, every time it has a hard lesson, it just makes it stronger. Every every time that Libra. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about Libra in your reading. I don't know why it's coming through. Maybe you've got a Libra placement. Um, but every time it's like um, Libra suffers a pain, it just makes that heart, heart harder and tougher and stronger with more facets. Uh, it creates a brilliantly cut diamond, um, the trials, the tribulations. So Libra has the diamond heart. Now I feel, Pisces, you're either dealing with somebody who is like this and you're trying to scare them off, or, uh, a lot of shouting outside, that could be relevant, I'm going to shut the window, um, I'm also going to die because, again, the energy of this reading, I'm, I'm boiling hot already, um, so, it could be you saying, right, it's one of two things, take it the way that you are, Somebody is, I don't have that diamond heart. I, my heart is soft and squishy and uh, I'm scared of getting hurt. <laughs> so I'm going to try and push the other person away. The other person is, I've got the diamond heart. I'm walking through the fire. <laughs> um, so yeah, somebody here is super strong. Somebody is fear of getting hurt because you also had a talk show host by Radiohead um, and Dracula's Wedding by Outcast and Khalees. Um so, what are the lines in that talk show host song? It's that, dun, 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 dun. What? it's out of a movie. I feel like it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, but I can't quite place it. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I'm going to look up the lyrics because that was important and I haven't written them down. One second. Do you know, I was seeing it as true romance. Um, I've looked it up now. I was, see, I was thinking, is it true romance? And I don't know, maybe it's in that as well, but it was bloody Romeo and Juliet. So it's so funny that... It's just so funny that I got the movie wrong, but they're the same kind of theme, right? Um, so talk show host. Um, I want to be somebody else or I'll explode. Floating upon the surface for the birds. You want me? I think I'll come and get me. I'll be waiting. With a gun and a pack of sandwiches. Hmm. Um, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, come and break the door down. So uh, I think the diamond heart is going to break the door down. <laughs> now they're giving me, um, you were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Um, and the other person's there with that defence, right? The gun represents this defence. Um, so um, Dracula's we wedding, you're all I've ever wanted, but I'm terrified of you. Again, that fear coming through. I'm getting so hot. Um, my heart beat. My my heartbeat is a slow one, but I'm terrified of you. Um, what's that? What's the Khalees bit again? I'm gonna have to Google the lyric. Just while I'm waiting for the lyrics to load, there it's uh forty four percent on my battery. I'm noticing the fours. Where was, else was it, did it say forty four? There on thinker forty four. So fours could be important for you at the moment. Wanting stability. Um, uh, see my castle may be haunted, but I'm terrified of you. I've cast my spell on millions, but I'm terrified of you. So you could be play dealing with a player, right? Maybe I'd do this from the ceiling, but I'm terrified of you. I cast my spell on millions, but I think this person sees right through. Right through, can't lie to them. Um, I've never ran from no one, but I'm terrified of you. I've waited my whole life to bite the right one, then you come along and it freaks me out. I'm so frightened. I, you know, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Um, yeah, there we go. It's, it's the fear, it's that devil energy. Uh, and the fear comes along when you're close to doing something amazing because it's the adrenaline right the fear the excitement the anxiety the stuff that makes your heart race uh, they're all so similar they all have such a similar effect on your body so um 
the fear does get triggered because it's such big energy isn't like i was saying this in i think it was capricorn's reading um and again capricorn is associated with the devil sign in the tarot so that could be why um give me the chance to dance romance don't run i'm not the sun so much is so much at stake oh bad choice of words but i'm not the gun with silver bullets um and i make great peanut butter and jelly sandwiches uh right okay so yeah <laughs> could be that somebody's getting married and they are they're scared like that's totally normal again like um you know it's such a big step for some people that um you know it's a co common um stereotype isn't it like the people getting cold feet right before the wedding because they get scared um because it's so overwhelming uh so totally normal again totally totally normal and when you accept it as normal it's easier to deal with it's easier to process it's when you fight it and again it's like somebody's really fighting and like i'm getting this like scaring off energy um of like oh i'm like i'm so bad like boo <laughs> be scared of me because trying to push the other person away right um <laughs> so it's um then i'm getting uh, scary movie which is the parody of um of uh scream and what is it um do you want to do you want to play psycho killer can i be the helpless cheerleader <laughs> where well, she's just not taking it seriously at all so yeah it's like you can't you can't scare her but the thing with that is it's a parody of a scary movie it's not real so it could be someone's into role play i don't know i don't want to know your business um but like or trying to scare putting on the mask right trying to be scary and in that in that scene he does kill her but she doesn't die <laughs> and then but it's a move it's a movie they're actors and actresses so there's this thing about a false act um being scary but it's an act um because it's a defense right um but this other person they're not having any of it <laughs> they're like you can't scare me i see right through um then i got uh, misery by gwen stefani which again is a love song but she's saying put me out of my misery <laughs> can't help falling in love with you by uh, Hayley Reinhardt the version that came on um and again there's something in that why uh, why is my say only falls rushing but I can't help falling in love let me lose flee to the sea to the, to the open arms of the sea wait for me wait for me I'll be coming home wait for me no I've gone into Unchained Melody haven't I how did that happen um okay Unchained Melody then as well I guess is one of your songs um there's something in that song as well that it was like a, a euphemism for death. Uh, but again, a euphemism for death. I said, I, I'm saying everything wrong, but it's for a reason. Um, I studied Shakespeare for a year. Um, yes, I am a geek. And um, there was a lot of bawdy puns in Shakespeare. And you don't always know that they're there if you, you're quite new to it. But when you've read it for a while, you start to recognise these bawdy jokes. Um, and in early modern literature, to die was a euphemism for an orgasm. Um, so yeah something there because it's as close to heaven as you can get baby um so i don't know why it's all coming through like this what a crazy reading and, and i know hi to my friend from work who i know watches my videos like i know right i know um but talking about you my friend from work who watches my videos who, I, who is supporting me and is absolutely lovely and i love you so much um i know that you're really into uh I'm just talking specifically to my friend now, but other Pisces, you're probably like the same kind of interests. Um, my friend is really into um, psychology, psych, psych, psychotherapy. Um, and randomly, as I was painting my nails this morning, um, a video came up that was called the Ultra Ultra ultraistic narcissist I can't even say the word. Uh, and it's by a channel called Jay Reed. Um, and it was really interesting um so i am getting a lot of stuff about narcissism and um gaslighting and things like this um so i hope nobody's dealing with that in a relationship again it could be a false connection that somebody's trying to exit out of here but it was altruistic it means that somebody um is so insecure and really worried about what the outside world thinks but they don't actually care so they have this this appearance of caring of being like um very very showy uh, kind of doing all the right things but behind closed doors they don't actually care so it could be a relationship that looks really good on social media or um 
it's like the, the the narcissist does it for the fanfare for the recognition and when they don't get that recognition they can be quite um sulky or aggressive or nasty so um and it's it it was talking about so i don't know if this is pisces in general relationships that you've been dealing with we have been dealing with this kind of person and then the gaslighting comes in where it's like they've created this codependency and they um they they look like the good person like good guy good girl where it's like i do everything i do everything um like they've depend on me completely and then it creates this thing in the in the victim and it is a victim right uh where they feel like they don't deserve things um they feel like they're not deserving when somebody shows them real love and real affection it's like, like almost like i don't know what this is i don't know what to do with this um uh, makes them panic and run away right the walls go up the person panics and backs off um so this could be something that's happened to you you could be dealing with somebody who has done this possibly in the past where they've put the defenses up and or panicked um when you've shown them love when you've like offered your hand um or it could be that someone that you're doing this to someone else um like walls up defenses i'm so scary <laughs> back away um so yeah, but I think this other person, this second person can possibly knows, um, they, they see, they see what this is. Um, <laughs> just rereading my notes. Do you want to play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless cheerleader? Uh, why do you love me? Unbelievably. Um, when I randomised your first song, properly randomised your song on Spotify uh, as I was setting up the cards. Um, and it was one of those moments where I'm like, no way. Like like when I was like, I knew that was going to be the devil card and it was the, de the devil card in reverse, showing that somebody's overcoming their fears, overcoming the shackles that are holding them back. Um, so really, really good. <laughs> It's like I'm just getting so hot again um and then yeah so I randomized that song on Spotify and I couldn't believe it why do you love me by Charlotte Lawrence which is all like um I hate your friends I hate your mum and dad I hate myself um for once I'm being honest um narcissist she says narcissist in it um there's got to be a lot wrong with you if you want to be with me um, so again, it's this thing about recognizing something like recognizing the shadow side of someone else or recognizing the pain of someone else. Um, and that, yeah, that defensive, that's that, that fear, right? You, there's got to be something wrong with you if there's, because if you love somebody like me, um, what else? Oh, and then liability, you've got liability by Lord, which is such a, such a sad song. It's, um, again, that, that devil energy of not, of having low self-worth, of being like, I'm just a liability. Um, people use me as a toy and then discard me. They tell me you're just a liability. You're a bit too much for me. So, um, sad song, dancing alone by yourself. Um, but, but. What was that line? What for it there? Oh, that's just about the, the adrenaline. But I normally randomise two songs off camera as I'm setting up the cards. Um, and I was just, I was f fiddling around with something. Oh, I was lighting the joysticks and I've got a story about that as well. So we're in almost 20 minutes in and all I've done is waffle to you. Um, so I was lighting the joysticks. I'll tell you this story first. I'll tell you in the order that it happened. And I'm, I've got you three. I don't. I never burn more than two. And I've got you um, patchouli for true love. I've got you dragon's blood for confidence. And I've got you white sage to clear out any devil energy or fears or any kind of negative low vibrational energy. So again, it's like uh, white sage that I've got stockpiled. So um, somebody told me that you shouldn't buy white sage. I haven't bought any more since. It's, it's just my... What I, burning what I've already got um but the flame was huge the flame was so big um again that's why I was like and I was thinking to myself is this a twin flame reading so I had the soulmate card out I was I had that massive flame burning the joysticks and I thought is this a twin flame reading and the song that came on was rewrite the stars by um uh James Arthur and Anne Marie that version um you know I want you it's not a secret I try to hide. I'm so... 
I guess we're going to get into it, Pisces. But I do have to randomise your song on camera. Uh, see what we get. What's it going to be? So yeah, I, I'm excited about this reading. I'm scared because I don't know what's going to come up. My tablet is very mucky today. So please excuse me. I'm too lazy, lazy to stop and clean it. Um, no, hang on. I've still got Enrique up. I need to... <laughs> I need to go on my light songs. Um, right, so I'm going to take this as one of your songs, but I haven't randomised it. I randomised it slightly off camera, just as I was pulling up my light songs. You've got uh, Symphony by Zara Lawson and Clean Bandit. So take that as one of your songs. Uh, I'm going to make a note. Symphony, Clean Bandit. Bandits! Bandits! So, I, I don't know what that is. It's a <laughs> me and my daughter does. Bandits! Lawson. Um, right, okay. On camera then. Randomised song. You can see I've got randomised here. I've got about 900 songs on here. Best song, please, for Pisces' reading today. We're scared. We're excited. What's going on? Wanna play Psycho Killer? <laughs> no Time to Die by Billy Eilish. I've not I've not got time to play Psycho Killer right now. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> Can we do it later? Um right, okay. Um I'm trying to think of the words. Was it reckless to love you? What was it reckless to help? Um Love somebody else. Have I fallen for a lie? There's the fear. Have I fallen for a lie? You'll never see me cry. Fool me once, fool me twice. Is this death or paradise? There's just no time to die. Um. <laughs> I can't, can't sing it. I'm, I try. Um. Right, okay, I'm going to listen to that song off camera. I am going to try and cool down because I'm, again, absolutely roasting hot because the energy of this reading is crazy today. Uh, if it's not your reading, I mean, we're going to start to pull cards. We may get something different coming out. If it's not your reading, don't worry too much. Um, it's it's um, Somebody needs to hear this because it's, it's massive energy. So, uh, yeah, if it's not your reading, I'm sorry. Hopefully the next one's better for you. Um, but we'll start to pull cards and we'll see what we get. Right, I'll be back in a moment back already now i put the cards in um i put them in separately um as i sort of interspersed them throughout the deck and i started to shuffle and look what happened it flipped out and balanced on my hand again uh so like crazy 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 so you can see they are like thoroughly shuffled in there now okay um i just wanted to do oh, what is it if it's that card again no time for time for a nap uh there's no time to die no time for a nap right now pisces we've got some we've got tarot cards to pull <laughs> so funny i'm gonna have to see what's on the underlying uh flexible be flexible <laughs> okay right um yeah <laughs> back in a moment okay so um that no time to die song death or paradise for me once for me twice it's this it's the doubt it's the doubt is the fear? Um, is this real? Is this person tricking me? Am I the fool? Um, I feel like one person's more confident than the other. One person's more battle-hardened, maybe. Like, maybe they're more prepared to risk than the other. Um, it's sort of like waiting for... Waiting for clarity, perhaps, or like done waiting for clarity and trying to turn the back on it because because it's it's just too much to bear, right? Too much to bear. Um, but what's too much to bear is the not knowing, and what's stopping this person from knowing or taking the leap of faith is the fear. Now they're giving me, if you never try, you never know, just watch your worst, Coldplay fix you. 
Uh, so my kids are in the bath uh, together in the swimming costumes because my son got a big Lego set for Christmas. So I'm sort of keeping an ear out on them just to make sure that they're okay. Um, okay, let's keep going. Hey. Uh, right, let's go. What do we have, please, for Pisces? What do we have, please, for Pisces? My heart's racing again. There's the fear again. Excitement, fear. Fear of the unknown. What's going to happen? Fox, spirit, electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. That gives me waking, wake me up inside. Um, Ev Evanescence. Wake me up inside. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. Just showing itself there and having a peek of the porcupine spirit as well. Take time for a beginner's mind. Porcupines as well, very defensive, right? It's that spikiness, the spikiness that keeps people away. Um, it's that trying to make someone afraid of you almost to push them. Uh, fox spirit, think on your feet. Whoa, okay. Time to let go. Bring your ideas to life. Think on your feet. Um, I'm going to go straight to the book. 27, 24, 31. So we've got four, six, nine. 27. Again, those numbers could be relevant to you in some way. Think on your feet. Okay. The fear, right? The, that, that heartbeat energy. Um, be alert now, for fox spirit has appeared and you are meant to move swiftly. Let this clever spirit draw out your creativity as you adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience, grace and astuteness. Fox Spirit helps you to think on your feet, using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into a more advantageous situation. Now is not a time to hesitate, but a time for swift action of the mind, and a time to think outside the box and notice the many ways in which you might be, make a move. Aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. Trust that your cleverness, guided by Fox Spirit, will serve you well. I'm going to read the protection message. Um, are you camouflaging yourself to avoid inf intimacy? Perhaps you are being too clever for your own good and playing games to protect yourself. Being dishonest with yourself or others can become, become isolating and create obstacles to true con connection. Fox Spirit calls to you to be attuned to what is happening within you and around you so that your quick thinking and creativity can lead you to better relationships and situations. You are called to use your fox spirit beneficially rather than in ways that keep you from experiencing what you want. Or perhaps right now you are realising that the situation is trickier than it appears on the surface. And you are afraid to make a move in case that turns out to be a mistake. Yeah, I'm reading that again. That's, it. That's, that's what I'm picking up on. Perhaps right now you are realising that a situation is trickier than it appears on the surface and you are afraid to make a move in case it turns out to be a mistake. Fox Spirit is here to remind you that when you are in alignment with the Great Spirit, the answers and solutions can come quickly and you must trust them. Don't overthink a situation in order to avoid the challenge of facing a difficult truth. Fox Spirit's creative nature will always be there to guide you and to help you move quickly into better circumstances. Yeah, somebody's... I was picking up on that ultra... ultra I can't say altruistic narcissist. Somebody's um, dealing with somebody, I think, who is very manipulative. And this could be in your past as well. I'm picking up for some of you, it could be something that happened in your past. So this is something in your past that you dealt with. Uh, for others of you, this is happening now. I always ask for the most important message to come through that's going to do the most good. But so so for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's like this. Um, um, perhaps you've been with them for a long time. It took a long time to realise that you are um, in this kind of relationship. Um and you perhaps know you have to make a cunning, swift exit. Um, or, or maybe you just feel like that. Maybe you feel like you need to do that. I just feel so sick again. Um, oh, sorry, I was getting something else. I'm just trying to re remember what it was. Um, I can't think what it was. Time to let go. Think on your feet. 
let's read the electric um electric eel there's a lot of creativity right bring your ideas to life and the fox spirit was talking about that creativity as well um so seemingly out of nowhere the jolt of electric eel spirit appears to have awoken you to a big idea that you're meant to explore epiphanies and aha moments it feels yeah feels tower moment energy um are gifted to you right now so celebrate your life has the potential for profound transformation that's why i've got the black nails i don't think i said um because I'm picking up on that death and rebirth energy, uh, like Phoenix energy. So uh, I watched Order, Order of the Phoenix as well yesterday. Um, so yeah, Phoenix stuff I keep seeing. Um, inspiration arises in you, electrifying you so that you can't wait to get started bringing your idea to life. The revelations you experience now are meant to set you on a new path so don't be afraid to act explore examine and do not fear the changes that may come do explore examine and do not fear the changes that may come for spirit wants to shower you with love success and abundance that you hope to experience now is a thrilling time of epiphanies inspired ideas and innovation this is a wondrous sign for you today i remembered what i wanted to say uh, harry potter right it's funny that they rem reminded me in a funny way um harry potter i looked up uh i watched harry potter and die hard and they're both movies with um alan rickman in and they said alan walker then um so and like alan rickman such a, like a famous actor and when he died people came out of the woodwork to say so many wonderful things about him to tell all these stories about like how they helped how he helped them as, as actors how he was there for them how he rang them with like messages of support like this gorgeous like loving person but he always played these bad guys right and he played these bad guys so brilliantly so um hans gruber uh, snape uh the sheriff of nottingham in robin hood like he was a brilliant bad guy but again it's that fake bad guy because he was he was a pisces i forgot to tell you that he was a pisces i went and looked it up i was like i wonder what star sign he is i kind of wondered if he's libra because he's got that kind of like quite deadpan humor um but no he's uh he was pisces lovely 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 pisces and that led me to looking at pi people who have um uh, venus in pisces um people like drew barrymore zoe deschanel uh who else um blah, 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 what's her name P penelope cruz i think there's the crows but it's like all these like very very like romantic sort of beautiful like fairy tale like prince or princess characters who have venus in pisces um and yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where I, why, I don't know why I was le led down this groundhog hole. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but maybe somebody needed to hear that. I'm thinking about doing a series actually about um uh, Venus placements, um a, a relationship series. Um, and I don't know if I need to take a break though actually. Um, and just get stuff done around the house. Um, just have a week off from doing this. So if I suddenly go quiet for a week, that's that's why. Uh, hopefully I've not been murdered by uh a cape wearing snake like figure uh we'll find out <laughs> do you want to play psycho killers can i be the helpless cheerleader right okay oh you've got a lot there uh time to time to go <laughs> time to go yeah some of you actually uh you may be in a situation i know i'm laughing and joking a lot but some of you may be in a situation where you genuinely feel quite scared um genuinely scared of leaving a relationship possibly so oh, i guess i'm sending out the sos there right feeling orphaned feeling like the ugly duckling feeling like wherever you are there's it's there's no love there feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, feeling hurt, emotionally orphaned, uh, chop wood. <laughs> it's funny because I, I know I'm Cinderella, but they're giving me Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day, Cinderella. Um, this, the chop wood card though, it means uh, putting the hard work in, um, doing what needs to be done. Um, almost like... <sighs> being quite patient as well doing what needs to be done doing the practical things and being patient because my nose is clicking why is my nose clicking 
being patient because you know that it's not quite the right time. 42, again, look, 42 came out loads yesterday in Aquarius's reading. So if you have Aquarius cusp, go and watch that, that reading. Uh, go the distance, yeah. But I feel like when, when it's like the time comes, you're, you're going the distance, you're going to go cross that finish line, like, like a bat out of hell are telling me. Um, message in a bottle. This this just giving me sending out an SOS. Because, like, if you look here as well, like, I'm noticing the horizon line here. Um, the desert is dry. So this is, this person's been somewhere where, excuse me, Fox. I think it, it's going in that order, isn't it? Just colour-wise. Um, someone's been somewhere where there's been an emotional drought, an emotional neglect. Look at how dry these cards are. Um, being somewhere very practical. I'm noticing like the grounded references here, the earthy references. Being very practical. Um, and here's the finish line. Here's the line into the new, right? This is So here's the fear in between, right? Here's the fear because this person's approaching this line where they're, they're about to cross. <sighs> A line that you're about to cross. But it takes them here, right? To the water. And the water represents emotions. So new horizons. Bringing ideas to life. Sending out an SOS. But this is emotion. This is the abundance, like opening the floodgates. All right, okay, orphaned. Essential meanings, a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. We are all meant to have connections with other people within our family, society and the larger culture. No man is an island and it's important to recognise when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that it... And know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. Sorry about the noisy neighbours. Um, it's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you and it's time to move on. Relationship message. As you shift and evolve and commit... Good! We're alright, you're shouting. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs. So you feel left out, unable to let go, get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you and who are without artifice or agenda. Don't, comp don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. So this is take the masks off. Don't try and be like the ugly duckling, the swan that's trying to fit in with the ducks. Um, you've got somewhere better for you. Um, again, take what resonates, leave anything that doesn't. This may be something that happened in your past. It may be your, for you. It may be for somebody else. Um... Being grounded in everyday experience, humility. There are times when the big, big dream is let, meant to lie dormant in your consciousness that, so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it comes into full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil and then leaving it to be, to let nature take its course, is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you to a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear out your energy to receive your aha moments, which bring you even closer to what you seek. Relationship message. Nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. 
Relationships and friendships go through lulls where the everyday tasks are at the centre of awareness. This is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing. Stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. I had a dumb joke for you. And I don't remember what it was. Oh, I'm sad. I had a really, like, dumb dad joke for you. I can't remember what it was now. Um, 47. And I remember thinking, Pisces will appreciate a, a dad joke. Um, go the distance. Essential meanings. Endurance, strength, the long haul. To bring your, to bring your dream to life. Bring your dream, bring your ideas to life right? It literally says, to bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuation in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment co-mingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength and fortitude. I mean, you are my polar bear of the tarot, uh, which is all about endurance, strength and fortitude, to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with your energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. My heart just pulled. A relationship message. You are either in or are calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time, for better or for worse, and you ride the ups and downs, and even strain, break, no, as you ride the ups and downs, and even strain, break yourself, and are remade in new growth, that's the phoenix energy, right? You are being re redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean that there will never be a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written, an instrument, an instrument can be tuned, and the symp symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart, isn't it magnificent? Funny that it's talking about uh, a new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned, uh, because I was getting that stuff about audio production, uh, like songwriting, music production, DJs, radio hosts... Uh, so something to do with songs there for you. Um, listen with your heart. I can hear the birds. <laughs> the bird song is a kind of song, isn't it? Um, they were giving me musical lyrics as well when I was writing those notes down, uh, which is a Drew Barrymore movie. I'm wondering now, because uh, now I know that Drew Barrymore is uh, uh, Venus in Pisces. I'm wondering what Hugh Grant's Venus placement is. Um, right, okay. A message in a bottle. Should I look it up? Should I look it up? Maybe I should look it up. I, I want to. I'm tempted. I'm going to look it up. Astrology and natal chart of Hugh Grant. God, the internet has everything. Um... Where does it say though? Where does it say? Oh my goodness, too much information. <laughs> I really want to know his... I really want to know his um, Venus placement. Where are you, Venus? Uh, sorry guys, it's taking me a minute. Oh, I think it's Libra. I'm Venus in Libra. Um... I don't know, it's hard It's hard to understand the charts yet, like, I have to actually sit and look with it. Um, he's a Virgo, but he's got Venus in Libra, I think. Uh, Richard Gere as well. Um... I don't know why that's I don't know why that's interesting. I don't know what Grace Kelly. I don't know why that is relevant at all, but it's there. Um Message in a bottle. I don't know if you can hear my children singing in the bath. <laughs> Playing with the Lego. Um Message in a bottle. Communication, a sign, a cledon. The ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. The oracle's message, spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when 
You allow yourself to become fluent in the language of sim symbols, oracles and omens. Then they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone might just say the right thing that would give you the answer to your query. Today your message is this, spirit hears you and the reply is favourable. Relationship message. You can expect someone to favour you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, a phone call or an email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. Okay, so ask for signs and you shall receive. Um, yeah, hand it over, whatever it is, that, that you, whatever your dream is, hand it over to spirit. To the universe, to God, whatever you believe in, hand it over and be like, guys, it's in your hands. Guide me for my highest good, show me the signs, show me how to move, show me what to do. Um... Obviously, use your own intuition, your own judgment, you know, your friends, family, um, advice lines, they're all there to, to gain that extra advice, that extra perspective. I don't want anyone doing anything um, sudden or um, anything, you know, with that fox spirit there as well. It's almost like the need to perhaps be a little bit crafty, to persevere, to be crafty. Um, right, okay, what else would you like to tell me from this deck, please? What else do we have for Pisces today? What else do we have for Pisces today, please? The playing uh, Evanescence again. Bring me to life. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Call my name and save me from the dark. Bid my blood to run before I've come undone. Save me from this nothing I've become. Frozen in time. Without your love. I don't know. Maybe something important there for that song. Maybe. Oh, contract in reverse. Whoa, okay. That's Libra energy. Anxiety. There's the fear. Told you. Told you that devil energy. The fear. The anxiety. Perhaps about getting out of some sort of contract. Could be a karmic contract. Could be a uh, soulmate contract. Oh, excuse me sick of the, that sick feeling again um reversed i'm gonna put it upright but we clearly saw it came out reversed the contract card reversed indicates the ending of a previous connection or where a future con commitment is concerned it could be bring warnings of delay and perhaps even possible disappointment there could be a delay then here which is why that perseverance energy is showing up which is why it's my heart just pulled which is why it's saying chop board do the mundane tasks um the sale of a house could fall through. Oh my God, Pisces, I'm so sorry. The sale of a house could fall through. The job offer might not come when expected or a romantic union might be stalled. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope, however. however. This delay may provide some purpose or protection for you and something even better could be on its way. Uh, what, what do they say? Um, rejection is God, God's protection? Um... It may be because, like I was saying, this could be soulmate twin flame business going on here that I was picking up on possibly at the start of the reading. I don't want to kind of jump to any guns here. Um, is that why the guns are coming through? Jump to any guns, like the firing shot, right? The warning shot, the... Um, the when you're doing a race, they fire the gun in the air, don't they? And that's when people run. Um, oh, I, I don't like that energy. Um, my heart's beating really fast. Um, it could be for some of you, this is something to do with lockdown with 2020 as a whole, teaching you the lessons, teaching you to be patient, giving you the space to do that soul work, that shadow work. Um, so it could be that it could be that there was a connection made, but because of lockdown restrictions, my hand has gone really cold. Um, you've you've been stuck in place. You've not been able to move. So you've had to do the work, soul work, soul growth work. Um, 
but when the restrictions lift you get this second chance this revival this phoenix right out of what was dead or what felt dead um Okay. Um, this card reversed cautions you not to become desperate. Don't be desperate. There's the fear again. Your needy, urgent energy could actually postpone the de desired outcome even more. Continue taking action, even if it's in another direction, and your patience, your patient resolve will pay off. Perhaps this is something somebody did. Um, because they couldn't move, they went away. They took a step back. And went and did some work elsewhere. If the, if the breakup of a relationship is involved, always remember that you deserve to be honoured. Open your heart and your, and your life to the person who is willing to be fully present and loving. That person is waiting to commit to your own self-honouring heart. Affirmation. I am attracting wonderful beneficial connections that support and honour me and bring me great happiness and abundance. So that might be something you want to say to yourself. Um, and again, I'm kind of getting that feeling of like, uh, they're giving me Paloma, fa Paloma Faith, sorry, only love can hurt like this. It's right. What they're giving me is, um, somebody who's been in difficult relationships, doesn't have to be romantic as well. Um, uh, but they've had difficult relationships. Uh, it, it, it's created that think on your feet energy, right? That kind of, um, being stuck somewhere, having to perhaps walk on eggshells, being jumpy, being anxious, anxiety, um, but leaving that, again, it could be from the past, but it's created shadow work that you have to deal with. Um, it feels like whatever this was, whether it was COVID or it's something from childhood, like, you know, parents, you can't just walk away from your house if you're a kid. So it's like um, being in a situation where th there's been some kind of emotional drought. Were they showing me that for you or for Aquarius? I remember seeing them running tap. Or was it Capricorn? I, rem I remember seeing a running tap um, and they're showing me, me, me again. So it's like the tap's been off here, tap re representing emotions, like they're showing me a rusty tap. Um, the t they're telling me force it, that's the like American. Um, but here the tap's running. And they're playing it again. Only love can hurt like this. Um, must have been a deadly kiss. Because if you have only been in, I think this comes up for you quite often, Pisces, where it's like if you've only been in relationships that have hurt you, if you've only been in relationships where you felt, um, where you've not had love, where you've been, where you've, you've never been shown that, right? then you don't know what it is when it comes in. Uh, so you, you get this fear, you get this anxiety, you're like, what is this? I don't know what this is. Um, it scares me. You're all I've ever wanted, but I'm terrified of you. Um, I've waited my whole life to find the right one and then you come along and it freaks me out. Um, because you, there you go, you don't know. But you know what it is because it hurts so much. Only love can hurt like this because it's authentic right does this sound right Pisces am I onto it or is this not your reading um getting out of could literally be like marriage contracts I've got like black marker on my hand um marriage contracts um work commitments where you felt unappreciated for the hard work you do Getting out of some, some kind of situation. Getting out of dodge, they're telling me. Getting out of dodge. Don't know if that's a phrase you use. Um, and moving towards something that feels... They, they, t they told me refresh... I'm getting quite a lot for you, Pisces. They, tell, they said refreshing and then cold, 
cold glass of water, cool glass of water. I never understood that phrase. Cool drink of water. They're giving me this energy of it, like, when you've been, like, running and you're all, like, doing exercise and you're really hot. You're, like, maybe you've been running in the sun and you're really, really hot and really, really thirsty. And then you get that, like, cold drink of water and it tastes like heaven. It's, like, the best thing. You know, exactly what you need in that moment. Someone could be getting over a drinking problem. As a little random side message there. Okay, let's see what else they want to say. So what's going on over here? Can I get a couple of cards for this business? Tell me about the, the left-hand side of the reading, please. For Pisces. Oh, gosh. That came flying out. That might be why you have to think on your feet. That that energy was quite sudden and aggressive. Uh, four of earth and the three of air. Oh yeah, ow! No, wherever you were, you wherever you were, it was painful. The four of earth is the four of pentacles, um, and the three of air is the three of swords. Now the three of swords is uh, funny. I read the four of earth is the four of wands, which is can can indicate where you've laid foundations, like uh, what the place you're supposed to call home, the place where you're meant to fit the place where you're meant to celebrate milestones uh, so but it's not it's the four of earth and the four of earth is guardedness it's my shield card um clinging onto something tangible uh, but you can see you can see these kind of orbs on her wings but i'm seeing them as holes in her wings like like being somewhere holding onto something t like tangible could be a job could be a home could be a relationship uh, something real Holding on to it, even though there's this sense of abandonment with it, or clinging on because you've had clinging on to something unhealthy because you've got abandonment issues, because you're f afraid of letting go, afraid of being on your own, um, afraid of perhaps there's a bit of codependency there, um, this need to be loved, but clinging on to a situation that doesn't serve you, that feels like hard work. I feel like you, you, what i feel really sick again all of a sudden i feel like you're moving um but it, there's heart i'm sorry excuse me there's heartbreak over it um it's really really painful um i can see she's got her arms wrapped around her it's just she, a lot of pain there there's a bird with a crown again what is it with the readings this week and birds with crowns i mean it's maybe it's just a feature of these are all by uh, Colette Baron Reed, so it's probably just a feature of hers, but I feel like there's something there that I'm missing. But you can see again, it's, she's moving towards the water. She's left this dry place behind, this earthy place. Could be leaving an earth sign, moving towards yourself possibly, and this emotional awakening inside yourself with all this blue here. Uh, you know, you are a water sign, Pisces. It feels healing. If I bring it over here with the blue, it feels healing. Again, like that cold drink of water that's really refreshing. Um, after this sense of heartbreak, of emotional pain, thinking out of this emotional pain, of this energy of feeling clingy, defensive. I'm bringing this over here in the middle because I feel like this is part of the movement in this direction. Um, and what else about this? What 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 about the right hand side of this reading? What's what's this leading Pisces to? Tell me about the right hand side of the reading, please. What comes at the right hand side of the reading? Where is Pisces going, please? What is he Pisces heading towards? There we go. The two of cups. The two of cups. Oh, the relief. The, honestly the relief that I felt that that was a positive card and that it's such a beautiful card the two of water the two of cups that is that's an emotionally balanced relationship it's sharp relationship relationship <laughs> relationship why am I saying relationship relationship perhaps because it's so unfamiliar it's like you don't know what it is like a relationship what's that equal give and take never heard of her Equal give and take, two fish in the same pond, um, people who see eye to eye, equal give and take, fair, sh fair, 
just equals, just emotional equals, feels very healing, like I'm seeing like the two fish are in that, like it's not just a glass of water, it's an ocean of cool, refreshing, healing, calm, tranquil water, like look at the colours, like look at the colour shift, right? I feel like it comes with taking tangible steps because it starts with the grey, starts with nothing. Then you've got these tangible steps. Then you've got the heated energy, right? The passion of the cheetah and the fox, like the red coming in. And I feel like the red is like the Mars energy that gets you out of the gate and into this leap of faith, into this gorgeous, gorgeous, refreshing water. And the six of fire. Six of fire, that's success. Like the ship sailed, the ship sailed, moving on to a better place, um, success, reward and recognition, being valued. Um, okay, I'm going to put that sort of there as well. I feel like with the colour, that's where that is sitting for me today. The colour seems important in your reading. Um, best advice then, what's the best advice? Whoa, look at how I caught that. Best advice for Pisces, they're saying go again. Well, that's a few too many. I'm going to read them, but... So, the main one that came out is look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. There's a Sagittarius energy getting you out of the gate. Don't let your pride get in the way. Step out of your comfort zone. Meditate and contemplate. A new start is coming. And pros prosperity lies ahead. Like, I feel like this is... Like, don't let pride get in your way. That's That's the ego. That's the devil energy. Uh, step out of your comfort zone so be bold be fearless meditate and contemplate keep calm new moon in pisces as well there new moon in your sign you've got new moon new moon look three new moons all together so the full moon is the conclusion don't let pride get in your way if you need to let something go let it go okay don't hold on to something that doesn't serve you because of pride because of shame um step out of your comfort zone let go of whatever that is, if it's not serving you. Again, use your intuition here. If this is your story, you know that you need to move. If it's not your story, then it's um, leave it for somebody else. Um, meditate and contemplate. Now here, you've got the fear hitting here as you start to make the move. So meditate and contemplate is like, keep calm, don't panic, do whatever you need to do to deal with that anxiety. Breathe like literally do yoga or meditate or take time out to have like a long hot bath and just you know have that calm time to deal with deal with the fear use the fear though to push you to drive you forward because you've got this new, new start is coming prosperity lies ahead you're moving in a really good direction with this newness right um so I'm going to leave that like that, but we'll read, look at the bigger picture. And now you have, look, have faith in your dreams. And I'm going to put that up here with this, with this electric eel card. Bring your, sorry, my video cut out there, but have faith in your dreams. Bring your dreams to life. Don't let your dreams be, don't let your dreams be memes. <laughs> um, yeah, because you're moving towards this, which is beautiful. Like, let me read that card for you. Uh, wrong deck. Like the two of cups is one of them. It's what you want. If you're looking for love or friendship, the Two of Cups is is what you need. It's your partner in crime. Um, harmonious par partnership, loving and lasting relationships, heart-to-heart -heart connections between two souls. I partner with the one who is in harmony with me. Together we explore what, what is and might be, knowing that we are there for each other. Two hearts beat as one as we take turns replenishing and encouraging the other. I have someone who can bring out the best in me and I can do the same for another soul. For we are all expressions of divine love. Beautiful. Like that's what you're moving towards, Pisces. Wait, look. Um, okay, look at the bigger picture. Full moon is Sagittarius. Oh my God, I opened it ex exactly on the page. What were the chances? What were the chances? unbelievable right okay are you ready on your marks get set go on your marks get set go that's what it feels like firing firing um firing line fire oh maybe you're in the firing line which is why like getting out of a work contract getting out of dodge that came in a bit randomly right look at the bigger picture 
Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over the minute, 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 small details can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you what do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't have exactly what you want yet. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. Take time out for a mini break or adventure. Additional meanings for this card. The situation may have come around because you've been distracted. Be confident, that energy there, right? Without being overconfident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. Find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. Ha <laughs> ha, I've got Mars in Sagittarius. <laughs> Literally, I've got Mars in Sagittarius. Oh, and uh, it does make you jump the gun. Maybe that's what it is. Don't jump the gun. Be ready to move, but don't jump the gun. Ah, I think that's it. Because that was bothering me, that, that starting line gun thing. Don't jump the gun. Be patient. Maybe take a step back. Do the chopping wood. Move when the time is right. Think on your feet. Be confident, be prepared to step out of your comfort zone when you need to because a new start is coming in. I feel like you're about here though. I feel like you're still in that chopping wood lockdown phase. Uh, probably working on yourself a little bit on your shadow side. Uh, but it's like, um, yeah, don't jump the gun, be ready. Be bold. Have faith in your dreams. Right, okay, Pisces. Interesting reading you got there. We're curious to see curious to see how that plays out for you i hope it works out really really well i hope you get your two of cups uh, because that's gorgeous right i'm gonna i'm gonna love you and leave you there <laughs> um and uh i'll be back i may uh, i may take a week off but uh i'll be back um that's if they let me but i'll probably be doing tell me anything readings because the crows will be getting me out of bed knowing my look um if you like leave a like share with friends if you think it's their story uh leave a comment if anything particularly resonated if you want to come as, as a stealth watcher that's absolutely fine thank you very much to those of you who have been supporting me and you know who you are i really do appreciate that uh, right okay pisces all the best i hope you're enjoying your christmas or your holidays and i'll see you again soon bye bye Just as a little, um, <laughs> a little bit on the end here, um, as I was tidying this deck away, these cards fell out open like that, so I don't know if somebody has strong Leo placement, uh, strength and love, um, and the eight of air is trapped, so, um, I just finished listening to Rewrite the Stars on my phone, um, and then The Man Who Sold the World by Nirvana came on, I don't know if that has any relevance to anybody, but there it is, what's that that's poking through? Six of air, oh that's moving on though. Uh, feeling tr feeling mentally trapped but then mentally moving on from a situation uh, towards love and it takes strength to do so so again that could just be a little additional message for somebody there that looks like the seven of cups peeking through yeah trapped because they're confused uh, trapped in confusion not knowing which direction to take um i was also getting uh, for you there's only love which is a line from a lana del rey song <laughs> and my daughter is calling for people to go and get chocolate so i best go right do take care and i'll see you again soon bye bye what's going on no i can't go um these cards fell out like this uh the turtle spirit was slightly tucked behind and i pulled it out slow and steady wins the race uh moth spirit surrender now and uh giraffe spirit see the big picture it's funny because i saw this peeking out as i was um as i was shuffling and then it literally fell out it's like no we definitely want you to look at this card i might actually read it for you because uh, you had um oh, shouting at me about my battery there you actually did have um something about seeing the bigger picture didn't you on one of those moon cards so oh my goodness one day i'll be done with this reading <laughs> uh see the big picture i was actually thinking i saw it peeking out I was listening to Man Who Sold the World by uh, Nirvana and I was thinking, I wonder if this is a soulmate connection. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if see the big picture means like not just this lifetime, but like multiple lifetimes. Um, and it fell out. So 
I don't know. I don't know. You interpret that as you want to. Giraffes stretch upwards to reach the treetops and look down from a high vantage point. When giraffe spirit appears, it is a sign to observe from a higher view. All the aspects of your life, it's time to stretch your neck out and broaden your view. Open your eyes to see to what others need or are experiencing and see the big picture you fit into. No matter how great your wisdom, knowledge or experience, uh, you don't want to overlook details. Um, and connections that will help you better understand yourself and your circumstances. So stretch yourself. Look beyond what catches your attention at eye level and know that not everything is as obvious as you might like it to be. Spirit will bestow upon you a new perspective that might make all the difference. And then moth spirit. So 29.39, that's like 10 more. Tens are about changes. Uh, about endings and new beginnings and then moths as well they have that like they're like a butterfly aren't they they transform but they come out like um i don't know they're like darker aren't they than butterflies uh, moth spirit surrender now moth spirit asks what is guiding you right now are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or an addiction are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight Hard work and dedication are virtues, and love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when moth spirit appears, it's time cons to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction uh, to certainty, or even to a person, may be your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more than one direction. A fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all other pursuits that matter to you. Now is the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or to fight. I was saying that, fight or flight, right? Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for the what might be. And then you've got turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. So whatever you're up to, slow and steady wins the race and um, see the big picture, tend to those day-to-day -day tasks, um, surrender to the universe and when the time is right, uh, you'll know and you can take action but until then I think you just need to surrender release and take a step back uh, and take a breather all right do take care and I'll see you again soon bye bye Pisces haha -ha, Pisces did you think we were done yes I did do but I've just loaded my computer to upload your reading and if you excuse my nail stuff we've got Mars <laughs> We've got Mars here on my uh, on my load screen, on my window screen. So, uh, yeah, Mars is all about action and confidence. Um, means something to somebody that... Right, okay, what's it say? Uh, NASA aims to have humans on this planet by sometime in the 2030s. Uh, so does um, Elon Musk, or so I've heard. But until we've got the eyewitness reports, uh, there is a mountain here twice as high as Everest and a gorge that makes the Grand Canyon look puny. Right. There you go. So that probably means something to somebody. So do take care. I'm definitely going now and I'll have, I'll have you reading up soon. And I'm eating Palmer Violets. If you're wondering what that crunching is. Right, take care. Bye.